All right, uh, today I'm showing everyone how to cut an onion. This was a request from one of the best friends I ever had, Melissa. She was the best woman in my wedding. It's pretty cool. So this is how you cut an onion. Here's your onion. This is the root end. This is the top where the green stuff comes out in the ground. All right, so we're gonna cut the top off. You can save this piece for stock, okay? The root end, you wanna cut the root off. Do not save this because there's dirt in there. All right, so you'll throw that piece away. Cut in half. Now the root is what keeps the onion together. So if you can see, there's a piece here that makes a circle and that's holding everything else together. So you don't wanna cut that whole piece off or your onion will fall apart as you're cutting it. This is what keeps it together, all right? So you'll take the shell off. If you want your stock to be brown, you can use the skins, all right? If you want your stock to be white or a lighter color, don't use the skins because this will dye everything brown. Onion shell is a natural dye. The purple ones are used to dye eggs sometimes. All right, so you got your onion. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna make a few horizontal cuts. Depending on how big your onion is, if it's a real big onion, you might do six or seven. A littler onion like this, you'll do twice. All right, and they're gonna cut down. Okay, and then you'll come back, you'll turn your onion, and you'll cut across. This is a fine dice onion. You can trim a little piece off of here if you want, so you don't waste any product. This piece here will go in your stock bin. It's kind of woody, you don't want to eat. All right. I'll show you that again. Couple horizontal cuts. Cut vertically down. All right. Turn the onion. Cut again. The goal is for nice square pieces. All right. That's your fine dice onion. There's another way to do this. It's not the way I usually do it because it's not how I learn, but uh, it works just as well. You start off the same, you take the top of the onion off, you take the root off, you discard the root end, cut down the center. Once again, you're taking the peel off, save it for your stock. Look out for little blemishes like this. You don't want to use that part, it's getting a little moldy in there. All right, so we'll go that in the trash pile. Just take off that shell, okay? This way is the same, except you're gonna cut it in wedges. So you're angling towards the center. You're at 90 degrees when you're at the top and then you're angling around some more. Okay, and then once again, you'll do this. These pieces will be a little more triangular, but at the end of the day, it's just about the same. Unless you're eating a lot of raw onions. Once you cook them, you know, they'll cook down. Not the way I usually do it, but it works just as well. Now you notice my hand is like a claw, all right? And the reason for that is I don't wanna cut my fingertips off, all right? You never wanna cut like this. You always wanna have your hand in a claw-like position, all right? And you're guiding the knife with this part of your hand. So when you cut anything, different ways to hold the knife when you cut it. But when you're cutting vegetables, the easiest thing is you want to have your thumb on the top of the blade up here and your fingers around here. You don't want to grip the knife back here. Okay, if you grip the knife back here, you're going to have this wobble going on and you might slip, you might hurt yourself, uh, your cuts will not be as precise. Okay, so this gives you a lot more control, all right, and your strength is back here. Okay, once again, the claw You'll see my finger is touching the blade, all right? Both hands are used when cutting, not just one, all right? So this hand guides the blade and puts it where you want it to go. This hand keeps everything still, all right? So julienne and onion, cut the top off. This whole process is the same, garbage. Save for stock, if you wanna have stock. Stock's important, can't live without stock. Now on a julienne onion, the root end here, you actually want to take off, okay? So you're going to take that piece off, goes right in the stock bin, 
And then now you're going to cut like we did earlier with the dice, the wedging. You're going to cut into wedges like that. All right. And then I'll usually flip the onion down and cut at it again. Okay. So that's your julienne onion. Do that again. Forgot to take the root off. Because I'm a big dummy. All right. But that's it there. All right. Your julienne onion. I hope that helps you. Melissa and whoever else is interested in cutting onions. It's a lot of fun. Um, all right. Until next time. See ya.